Good morning from beautiful Estonia. We did sleep here. Very good night in this beautiful settings. We stayed out late because we kind of wanted to feel the adventure beginning and sit next to the bonfires. And our neighbors, the lovely Baltic hospitality, they gave us a bunch of firewood, like real fire logs, because we have to use the tiny ones that fit into our food stove. We love these really slow mornings when we just brew a coffee, eat our porridge oatmeal with the polished apples and then went to the hot shower in our van. Always a luxury moment. Gorgeous place. We absolutely love these RMK places here in Estonia and we are going to change the spot a bit. There is another place next to the Baltic Sea and we are going to go there and see how that place looks. It's a bit cloudy weather, overcast, but at least it's not raining and it's not cold. The nights are already pretty cold, so I think we have to drive more faster to Greece than we planned. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful sand beach. The water tastes good, but it's, uh, it smells like rotten eggs, so there's hutke and sulfide gas in it. Um, usually it's uh, harmless in small concentrations, but yeah, it seems like there's a lot of it. So we don't take water from there. Maybe trying to find somewhere where it's a public water tap. Using chlorine helps to remove the sulfur from the water. Yeah. We always make a taste test, and now nowadays we have to always make also the smell test. This time we are not gonna fill our water tank from here. Sarah went to shower in the morning time, and I went to swimming, so I'm the better person. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Uh, Sarah went to shower because we thought that there will it would be drinkable water from that tap, but not this time. But we haven't had any problems with the water or finding uh, drinking water or free drinking water. If we ever want to pay for water we can go to camping ground, pay maybe five euros and get our tank full, but we usually try to find free water. and that is our thing. Mm -hmm. Trying different things with this 360 camera, so now with the time shift while we are driving, let's see how it works. But yeah, Aaron K and Estonia again gave us a really beautiful place and calm place. We're gonna drive 50 kilometers south near Latvian border. There is another similar place like this just by the beach. So our beach days are actually continuing. And this place was recommended by my friend but I think it's also also in Park for Night. And I think every place possible is Park for Night. For sure. Usually the comments might be Usually they are spot on, but there is a places where people are complaining about the place, but it's it, they are really beautiful places. But we use Park for Night, it's a great app for finding places. For the water, that wasn't uh, doable, and I think major part of this area, the water is sulfury. So it's always like this brownish color. Yeah. Because of the land mass and the swamp area. So I think we're gonna actually now try and save water as much as possible and there is a really good spring water when we go to the Latvian side. Yeah. So gonna go there. A little bit of driving, a little bit for charging our batteries because they are forty percent at the moment, so oops. Oops. And because we don't get any sun because of these trees. Yeah. So next place is a sunny place, we're gonna get solar and also we're gonna charge while driving. Yeah. And sea is so calm, so it's perfect to park next to the sea. It's yeah. not scary sea at all. Yes, not scary sea at all. No, Let's it's go. Just scary driving. No. <laughs>
Okay, we are already driving to Latvia. We did not need that border is already here. <laughs> That's what we do research before we hunt. <laughs> <laughs> just driving and just enjoying places. Yeah. Really cool towns, really nice houses, like nicely renovated and also this old that are still in the same condition that they were about 50 years ago. Yeah. Really nice area. I love it. Latvia, new country day. We have still 40 kilometers to drive to our next camping spot. Yeah. But enjoy life. Surprise new country. But yeah, everybody's garden is like tea but the First country that we can go grocery shopping because it was Sarah's uh, thing that first country is Latvia. Yeah. So we accidentally drove here so we went to grocery shopping. And all this cost at 20 euros. So what did we buy? We buy a vinegar for a toilet, then some multi fruit juice, bread, apples, uh, bananas, noodles, eggs, uh, dates. They were really cheap. But so, I think they are tried ones, so... And uh, Nötkötti, this is a uh, conservation uh, cow meat. In Estonia it's hard to find this, and also in Finland. Dill chips. And you need it both a beverage. Yeah, because... <laughs> cherry everything is the life. <laughs> so... When I find new products with cherry, I always test them, so yeah, this time it was beer. You have to be really careful when you go to grocery shopping. Uh, there are imported stuff a lot. International stuff that, that costs cost a lot. It's more than in Finland, but if you take local product products, they are way less than in Finland. Yeah, Latvian apples. This is basic food that we eat. Yeah, no, but now... We went to top grocery stores. There's a Maxima just other side of the street, which is empty, which always tells you that it's uh, it's not that uh, the prices are a little bit higher. Yeah, prices are not friendly. They are hostile. Yeah, <laughs> but we go there to see if we can score some salad. Yes, and maybe tomatoes yes. because we are missing those. After accidentally coming to the Latvian, this is actually a positive accident. <laughs> we found a really nice place. This is uh, full of Latvian people. Just, it's weekend time, so lots of motorhomes and caravans and yeah, people grilling and enjoying time. This was after driving, I think, five kilometers of really bad road. So some of the larger motorhomes don't come here. This is nice gonna make food. We are starving so we are making sp spinach, pesto, pasta. And I'm making a uh, carbonara. Oh. I have some sauce left so I'm gonna do that. And then we will go enjoy this beautiful sunny weather that accidentally just happened. Yeah, it just happened. <laughs>